island in the middle of the sea. All right, let's do it. That would be a cool hideout, actually. <clears throat> Hello, welcome to our puppet show. Once upon a time, there was a little bunny. She hopped and hopped and hopped and hopped along the tall grass. She hid here, she hid there, she played everywhere. Then finally, she noticed she wasn't standing on grass anymore. She went down to eat it, but she spit it out immediately. It did not taste like grass. It tasted more like sand, she said. Oh no, my owner is what brought me to the beach, but never I've been to the beach by myself until he, until he let me go. All right, well, so the bunny kept hopping, 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 and finally she sat down in the sand. She noticed that she was close to the water, so she said, should I back up or should I stay here? All right, she said, I'll stay here. So she sat there. She just sat there. Then a big wave came. She said, now I should back up. And so she started to back up, but the big wave swooped her in and tumbled her deep into the sea. Just then, an octopus came and swooped her up. Thank you, she said to the octopus. But the octopus, instead of going to bring the bunny to back to shore, the octopus did not like being close in shallow water, so she brought her deeper into the sea. Then when the octopus went, they saw a log. The bunny saw a log. And the octopus dove down back into the deep sea. And so the bunny hopped on the log real quick. She held on tightly to the log. Then her fingers started to slip. And she saw something weird when she was looking at the log. She said, what is that? She said to herself. She bit the log to keep her from slipping into the water because bunnies do not like to get wet. Then she flipped herself back onto the log. With holding herself with her hands, she looked back. They had Bee little head, glowing yellow eyes, blue body and blue wings, and a blue tail. She said, oh, Dragon! The dragon swooped by and said, You're coming with us. They grabbed the bunny. No! shouted the bunny. Let me go! In the go. Then, suddenly, a golden, beautiful bird swoops down. Just as the dragon swooped, let go of the bunny, the bunny lands on the bird's back. Thank you, she says to the bird. So the bird flies and flies until they come to her nest. The bunny sits down at the nest. The bird says, Now, if you would please sit here and keep my baby chicks. Make sure my baby chicks are okay, and I will go get my friend Parrot. So the bird flew off to get her friend Parrot. Soon she came back with a green parrot with red on its wings. That was very beautiful. But before, then when she said, you should get, you could, you should get some worms for your eggs. Yes, she said. That's why I sent Parity here. She is going to babysit my chicks just in case if I, so the dragon doesn't come back when he sees you here. Okay, she says. She was on the tower. That will do. Right. And then she comes up close to me. Then she goes and she says, Oh no, you're not this bunny. You're a bunny. Ah, you're me, baby. You're me, baby. You're such a the bunny. I am too itchy. Oh, pretty stone. She said, I thought you were the bird's son. She says, backing up. And then she crushed into the wall. And she says, I'm pretending to be a baby. No, she's not going to tell the bunny. I really am. I really am. But you just said you want to eat me. Because bunny is delicious. You're just pretending to be your friend. And she's like, oh, right, you know my secret. Don't tell. You think I'm going to not tell? She said she went like that right here. Moving guy. What suit? Bit her by the tail. Yes? She went down to her pen. No, she said, no, no, no. Then the dragon came and he said, Nick, my food, back off. And he pushed the parrot down and grabbed the bunny. And then it came oh, no. Okay. Open up. <laughs> then a golden bird come out. He said, the dragon's body. Your friend isn't really your friend. And she's just a green parrot who wants to eat me. Then the dragon's let go and she fell on top of the green finger. Thank you, she said again. 
The bird flew all the way to shore. She said, you could drop me here. The bird dropped her in the tall grass. Thank you, she called. But the dragons were chasing her viciously. So she, went off into the, she went off into the tall grass. She liked the tall grass because she could hide in it. Then she f figured that she was back in her bunny hole. She quickly jumped down into the hole. None, none of the creatures could fit down there. They were too big. First the dragon tried. One head at a time! So one, no, we all have to go to the big time! Mm.